you know, at, a lot of it's at night. It's a slow death. They know that they can't be saved. The children can't get to their mothers. It's multiple children. I mean, the level of suffering is unimaginable. And then, you know, the, the smaller things I think of when I see masses of people having to move from the north to the south and where, where can they go to the bathroom? Where can they sleep? Where can pregnant women? I mean, there's things that people have to deal with that are unimaginable in our, you know, privileged situation. And to think that our money, I mean, billions, that, that's a huge amount of money. I mean, we can hardly take care of the homeless. You know, when we go around D.C., there's homeless people here, infrastructure. Um, even if this country was falling apart, to have my money go for the type of killing, mass killing, um, is beyond painful. And I'm really happy that you are listening to this and that you know, the senator does care and he has noticed a lot of this. I just want to also say the tragic irony of you talking about this with pictures of civil rights leaders uh, paying honor uh, to the freedom riders, to people who fought for civil rights. And, um, you know, you can't be somebody who believes in civil rights and not recognize the rights of Palestinians and the rights of the people who are being slaughtered right now.